Uh, Alright guys, how's it going? Um, just got a couple of uh, couple of things for you today, I guess. Um, got this out of a loft. This was given to me as a gift, I guess. Unfortunately, it's lost the lid. The lid's broken off. But from what I can tell, this is every single... Every single single. Every single Beatles single. That they, you know, this Hey Jude it's Revolution. Uh, love me do, look at that. Something. These are all backwards. Like, they're all just that. On the front. Um, there's 26 there. Does that sound about right to everybody? I don't know. But yeah, well chuffed with this. I, I, I've got seven or eight Beatles singles. But now I've got them all in this one box. So I guess if anyone's interested in Beatles singles, just go ahead and get this. You don't need to worry about anything else. Uh, only a couple of books this week. Um, it's been really light. I think all of my stuff tends to come out at the start of the month and then it's just dribbling through for the rest. Um, I got David Hines' Second Sight number three. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a ongoing or if we're getting six issues or what. They've not really said. But uh, I'd recommend this highly. It's that Aftershock. Uh, I think Garth Ennis is doing a book for them. Uh, Azzarello is doing a book for them. This was the only one I really wanted, who was interested in. But, um, yeah. Uh, he's like a um, he's like a psychic. He takes a certain type of magic mushroom, and he can see through the eyes of serial killers. It got him in trouble the first time he did it because um, they basically thought he was the killer. But he's been out the game for a, like ten years. Everyone thinks he's just a washed up junkie essentially. But there's a new serial killer on the go, so they come to him for help. Um, yeah, issue three. It's awesome. It's really good. Um, if you can find issue one, pick it up and read it, and honestly, you'll be hooked. Uh, second book I got is Weird Mystery Tales number two. Um, this has got some Jack Kirby stuff in it, but look at that. It's like some kind of Titanic. It is the Titanic as well. That's a great cover. But that's the second one out of that 24 that I need, so I'm happy to have that. Uh, Tat Comics, um, check him out. He posted a video the other day, it might have been yesterday, a couple days ago, talking about <coughs> showing off some of his books that he pulled out his box, and some of them were Mike Grell's uh, Green Arrow. Um, so this is for you, I guess, Tat. This was what I was talking about in your comments. This is the Longbow Hunters. This was what he did before that run, I think this was what got him onto the the um, the what am I trying to say? The ongoing series. I think there's like 75 of those. I don't know if he wrote them all, but he certainly did a good chunk of it. But this is Longbow Hunters. It's these prestige books, and there's three of them. Um, but this is like taking Green Arrow back to his roots. Um, seemingly, Grell hated all his different types of arrow and everything that Green Arrow had. So he took it right back to just bow and arrow. And um, he's sticking them into everybody, it's crazy. Uh, the backs are all painted as well. Really nice. Um, yeah, seemingly um, that Green Arrow run that Grell did, he never, he's never actually called Green Arrow at all within it. He thought the name was stupid, apparently. So take that as you want, but that's Longbow Hunters. I'd recommend that for anybody, even like if you don't have any Green Arrow and you were looking to get into it, check that out. Um, so that's basically it. Um, Tat, you were saying about asking me what issues I was needing. I basically have uh, issue 10 to issue 25, so 15 issues uh, run, and that's it. So if you've got any go and spare out with those numbers, I'll gladly take them off you. We can work something out. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks guys, and we'll see you for the next one.